the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white and this is just from Eyes Lips Face um, it doesn't really have a name it just came in the collection it came in like the purple collection or something like that um, and so I'm just going to take this and my Eyes Lips Face shadow brush and I'm just going to apply it all over my lid all the way up into my eyebrow Well, not really on my eyebrow because that looks a little crazy, but. I chose this particular white because it has a really festive, uh, shimmer look to it. I'm gonna take the darkest red that's in there, and it's in the third column from the right and it's the very last color in there and I'm just going to take that put a little bit on my brush and um, just pat it into my crease it seems like I would have Alice Cooper schools out but I don't so that would be more fitting but whatever and same thing on the other eye just into the crease and then just kind of bring it up onto your eye socket bone and then I'm just going to take um, my eyes lips face blender brush Ew, it's got dust on it. Um, my <laughs> eyes lips face blender brush and I'm just going to blend those two together And I'm just going back and forth in a windshield wiper motion. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of bring it up just a little. Because I'm going to put another color on top of that. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same um, the eyeshadow brush that I have been using. And then in the 88 palette again. And I'm going to go to the... Um, the red that's three colors up from the bottom red and this color is more like a fire engine red it's really really bright I don't know if you can see that and um, I'm just gonna put this right on top of this other color which was more of a subdued color well not really subdued it's red but it was more of a whatever and I'm not going to go all the way into the inner corner like I did with the other red. I'm just going to start from maybe like from two thirds up and just pat that right on top. And you should feel that right on your eye socket bone. Go to the other eye. okay and I'm just gonna blend those two together again with the same blender brush I really hope YouTube doesn't remove this because of the music or whatever I don't really know how that works. It's just that I can't just sit here in silence and talk to myself because then I would feel really crazy, but whatever. <laughs> um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my angled crease brush, which is also from Eyes Lips Face, um, and I'm just going to get um, the black from the 88 palette. I believe it's the only black in the 88 palette, so that's obviously the one I'm using. And I'm not going to put it in my crease. I'm just going to take it and in like a 45 degree angle out from my outer corner of my eye. I'm just going to apply that. 
the reason why I chose this brush is because it's a little bit softer than the shadow brush so um the color wouldn't be as harsh on the in the look Okay, now I'm just going to take my blender brush again and um, blend that black up, focusing mainly on my um, eye socket bone. My mascara, and I just used um, L'Oreal's Double Extend Beauty Tooth Mascara. It works okay. Um, I'm not really picky about my mascara, and I just got this yesterday because I ran out of my other stuff, so... Um, it, but it's, it works pretty well. Um, and then I put some white on my waterline, but, and, um, sorry, but I let it kind of come down onto my actual eyelid as well, or eye, under eye skin, I guess, I don't know. Um, and then I put some mascara on my bottom lashes, and then I just put some face powder on. And I just use, uh, Revlon Cover, Color Stay in Deep. Um, and then I said something about Alice Cooper earlier, I didn't forget. Um, he always had, like, this really crazy, like, eye makeup on. It was just, like, a lot of dramatic, dramatic stuff. Because he was Alice Cooper and he can do what he wants. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. And I just have a Physician's Formula, um, eye definer, felt tip, eye marker. And I'm just going to draw some crazy design on the side of my face inspired by the Coopster. So sorry if I lose you guys focus or whatever but I kinda have to like get into the mirror for this one. Um, and this is in warm black. I also have this marker in ultra black, which would look better, but I can't find it right now, so. and they are not going to be symmetrical and that's not intentional if I can make them symmetrical I would but I'm just I'm not a like artist or anything so cause this one came way down on my cheek yep. so if you decide to do this for real please be like better at it than I am this side came out pretty good. It's this one that looks a little crazy. But yeah. Um. Yep. And it's a bit more girly and not as goth as he would do. But. Oops. I'm done with my goth phase. So. Yeah. Um. And what else? Okay. Um. Next is for my lips. Um. I'm going to do a red lip. And I'm just going to use this Ultima Crimson Feature. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the lipstick in the center of my bottom lip. And then just kind of like pat it on the rest of the bottom lip. And I'm just going to smooth it out with my finger. I didn't want a lot of lipstick because I'm going to put a lip gloss on over it. Um, the next thing I'm going to take is L'Oreal's um, Color Juice shimmer or something lip gloss I can't read it's kind of old and it faded and candy apple it's like a burgundy color it's really pretty I'm just going to put it on my bottom lip or on my lips and I'm going to take a little bit of that just from the tip of it and put it on but, my um, yep. it's a really just dramatic eye and put it together with the red lip um like I said, I only did this, these colors because these are my school colors, but I'm pretty sure I can work with any other color. And, um, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching.